नमस्कार मैं सब डॉक्टर त्रिशान हूँ आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ आई एम डी फॉर फर्स्ट ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर to talking about the last 24 hour significant rainfall activity uh, the coastal andhra pradesh and telangana receive extremely heavy rainfall during the last 24 hour and one station of telangana uh, Mah- uh, mahabubabad received exceptionally heavy rainfall of 37 cm and uh, the uh, if you see the other state like telangana also received extremely heavy rainfall and the adjoining state like odisha vidarbha and uh, the maradhara those states and region received very heavy rainfall activity the details has been given here you can pause the video and check the detail now talking about the synoptic system for today there are two prime system one is uh, one is the cyclonic storm over the northwest arabian sea and it is very likely to uh, uh, weakening within the uh, today evening as a deep depression and also during the tomorrow morning it is likely to uh, weakening further into a depression and another deep uh, another depression is there over the south of odisha and adjoining north andhra pradesh and telangana region and it is very likely to uh, Uh, weakening further into a well marked low pressure area by next 24 hour and also the monsoon trough is starting from the sri ganganagar and continue up to the depression through the depression over the south odisha and continue towards the west central bay of bengal and also there is a shear zone at the mid tropospheric level at the northern portion of the peninsular india one cyclonic circulation over the central nagaland and adjoining area is also there at the lower tropospheric level one western disturbance is also there over the west pakistan and its adjoining area at the mid tropospheric level and also one cyclonic circulation is also there at the northwest uttar pradesh and adjoining haryana at the lower tropospheric level now talking about the highlights as i already mentioned the depression over the south odisha and adjoining south chatisgarh and north andhra pradesh is likely to cause extremely heavy rainfall over telangana vidarbha and maradhara for today and also very heavy falls is likely over coastal andhra pradesh south chatisgarh rayalseema madhya maharashtra west madhya pradesh and north interior karnataka during the next 24 hours on also the cyclonic storm ashna has moved away from the indian coast and lies over the northwest arabian sea now talking about the rainfall warning for the next 7 days you can see here for today we have issued the red warning for the coastal andhra pradesh telangana vidarbha and maradhara for today for the extremely heavy rainfall activity and also the adjoining state like chatisgarh west madhya pradesh madhya maharashtra north interior karnataka royal sima and coastal karnataka we have issued the orange alert for the very heavy rainfall activity for the today apart from that the north eastern state the state in the west india and also the west Penis- west coast of the peninsular india and also in the himalayan state uttarakhand we have issued the heavy rainfall related yellow warning for today now move further and talking about the rainfall warning for the 2nd september and 3rd september you can see here the red alert for the bidar region has been continued for the extremely heavy rainfall for the 2nd of september as well and the adjoining state telangana maradhara west madhya pradesh and gujarat region we have issued orange warning for the very heavy rainfall activity and also the very heavy rainfall related orange warning has been issued for the assam and meghalaya region in the northeast in and also if you see the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall we have issued uh, heavy rainfall related yellow warning for the west coast of india as well as the shodast kach region and if you see the northeast uh, north, northern state like himalayan state uttarakhand also issued the heavy rainfall related yellow warning for the 2nd of september now if you see the 3rd september you can see orange alert has only been issued for the very heavy rainfall for the gujarat state apart from that the central india the north india indian state also the northeast indian state we have issued the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall activity for 3rd september 
now if you see here for warning from 4th September up to the 7th September you can see the warning level has been reduced up to the yellow warning only for West India as well as the uh, part of the Central India and also for the Northeastern state for 4th of September and if you see the 5th September still the same yellow warning for the heavy rainfall activity has been issued for the West India as well as the Konkan Goa region Madhya Maharashtra and also if you see Chhattisgarh, Odisha and eastern part of the Uttar Pradesh has also been issued the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall including the northeast Indian state and the Andaman and Nicobar and similarly during 6th and 7th September the warning level has further reduced and yellow warning for the heavy rainfall has only issued over the west Madhya Pradesh and eastern part of the Rajasthan including the Madhya Maharashtra, Konkan Goa and Tripura, Mizoram, Manipur and Nagaland and on 7th of September the yellow warning for the heavy rainfall has been continued over the northeastern state Tripura, Mizoram, Manipur, Nagaland and also for the east of Rajasthan including the Madhya Maharashtra and Konkan Goa. Now talking about the fisherman warning as you can as you are already aware that there is a, a cyclonic storm Ashna over the northwest Arabian Sea and also there is a deep depression over the uh, uh, south of uh, Odisha so under the influence of these systems there is a squall wind speed over the east coast as well as the west coast of India around the along and off the Gujarat coast so fishermen are advised not to venture during these periods starting from the 1st September after the uh, next few days two days at least during over those Arabian Sea or Bay of Bengal region and also therefore uh, the, the maximum squally wind speed you can see over the co uh, coastal coast of Gujarat has been issued around 35-45 gusting to 55 kmph for today and for the eastern coast of India also the similar warning has been issued for today and tomorrow. So that's all for today. Please visit our mausam.imd.gov.in for all latest weather related update and also please follow us in Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and YouTube for all weather related latest update. Thank you very much for watching.